This is the brand new meatloaf pan with the insert tray. It is $17.98 and it's on two easy payments of $8.99. I'm trying so hard not to talk. Talk quickly. Yeah, okay. And you I want to show them what it does. And you even get a recipe. <coughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yes. All right. Go. So when I make a meatloaf, I have to tell you, I usually just throw it on a sheet pan. People okay. that grow up working in restaurants, we make many loaves at one time, mm -hmm. so it's impractical to put them in pans, right? right? So we just make free form shapes on giant trays and roast them. What I don't like when I make meatloaves in other people's meatloaf pans is that the bottom never cooks really nicely. It gets this weird texture, and, mm -hmm. and once you take it out of the pan, it's just... It's difficult to get it out of the pan. Eh, yeah, I some get people it. even serve it in the pan. This is brilliant. <laughs> Whether you're using it to bake breads, like loaf breads, right? right? Mm -hmm. But especially when you're making meatloafs, Love. it has a dripper pan in the bottom. All the fat drips away. It lifts right out. You can clean it up and put it on your board to serve it at the table. It is so gorgeous and brilliant. And you just boop. Slide it right off. That. Look at that. And it oh drains away all that oogie stuff in the right. bottom of the pan. Right. That stays in the <laughs> Best pan. Best word ever. <laughs> oogie. Oogie right. stuff. These knives are going to be selling later, too. Mm -hmm. And then you bring it to the table on a beautiful cutting board and slice it right at the table. Mm. It's awesome. Oh, look at that puppy. And that's a meatloaf with cheese running mm. through it. Yeah, that's a cheesy yes, loaf. Baby. With, and mm. the recipe you get from Rachel is like a beef and bacon meatloaf. Where is David? That's Honorable this one right we here. We need him. That's this baby right here. Look, look at that, that crispy, so crusty that bacon all over. It's a nonstick, easy, clean pan. It'll crisp the bacon all the way around if you're making a bacon wrapped meatloaf. I still always half render my bacon a little bit and mm -hmm. then cool it and then wrap it to get the super extra crispy crust on the outside. But it's such a useful pan. It's great for loaves if you love to bake. If you make zucchini bread and banana mm -hmm. bread, uh, you know, monkey bread, yeah. chocolate chip, brioche mm. bread, all that stuff is great in these. But man, this little insert, yeah, it is brilliant. Handle. And it's literally it based you. on what we do with our crisper pan. Right, it is. So if you love the crisper pan, <laughs> hey, you could use that to kind of get that bacon started before you did it in this recipe. And what a lovely set for like a cook or a young bride to get her the crisper pan and yeah. the meatloaf pan. Right. Because nobody else makes these. I designed this stuff. Right. Because like, it's not like you can go out in the world and find another one that does exactly no. the same thing. No, you can't. And it's easy to clean. Just hand wash it, rinse it off because it's so nice and slippy on the inside. It's all going to go. But look at that. Oh you lift gosh. it out of this junk. You so bring it smart. to the table on a cutting board and slice it right at the at table. This. I mean, look at this. Just like boop. Mm -hmm. And all that go. junk falls to the bottom. You don't have to deal with the mess. And I can't, like, the way it comes out of these hands It looks is beautiful. Perfect. It's perfect. It looks gorgeous. It looks perfect. Look, okay, the that's, bacon, that's that the bacon is crispy on all the sides. It's sliding right off because it's such an <laughs> efficient thing. I need another cutting board to show you, but look, I'll balance it on the side. See, the bacon crisps all around. All the fat and gunk drips away, and you have no trouble yeah, getting it out. Trying to get you another cutting board and so keeping cut it up. looking beautiful. Mm. Okay, and over yeah, sure. Here, Give us another board, guys. Do we have another cutting board? <clears throat> okay, great. So Rachel did cornbread. Put I this mean, over here. I mean, look at this. is like a blue. Put the cornbread bread. up by you. Okay, they got honey. all the empty ones around here. Okay, here. here. Or we can put it here. Bread. Here, I'll put this other empty one down here because okay. you got an empty one there. Uh, all right, we're re rearranging the set. But we'll look, even when you don't use the lift out thing that's made for the loaves, the meaty loaves. Boop! <gasps> it's your regular loaf paper. Look, look at, at the, the color cleanup. of the crust. Zero. Zero like, cleanup. I could wipe that out with a paper towel and throw not it back up. in the cupboard. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. So, like, for under 20 bucks, and you're going to somebody's house, and you want to bring a gift, why don't you make a meatloaf? If you're going to a potluck, why don't you make a meatloaf or banana pan. bread or cornbread? Yeah. And leave the, pan. leave the pan. Hello. Come on. That's brilliant. And I'm not keeping half of them like I do with your <laughs> That is brilliant. Cake. I don't have this one either. It's <sighs> it's it's kind of sad that I'm shopping my entire show. Yes. Well, that's because so much of the show is brand new. I don't have a loaf pan either if any of my team is listening. Okay, they're all shopping. Okay, Julie. They're all it. shopping. They're all helping. By the way, over 400 have been ordered. Thank We're you, kind of busy. And many of you have picked up more than one, which I think makes such sense because you could do the meatloaf. Oh. Thank you so much. I'm going to grab this. Thanks. You could do the meatloaf for the main dish, and then right. you could use 
I'm, I know this is going to be devoured in five seconds. Then you could do the other pan for your dessert. You could make a pound Isn't that cake pretty? with fresh Here, put that over here on the pedestal. Okay. All right, now we're going to cut up the one that the recipe comes with. I know, it. but I like serving on a pretty board like this. Yeah. I have a million little wooden cutting boards. Right. And I love to serve from them rather than platters. Right. I just think it looks so rustic it and does. pretty. But the point is you can get it out and it's clean and mm. whether it's a platter or a rubber board or a metal board, it's so beautiful to take it to the table and slice it yeah. in front of everybody. It gets their anticipation mm. really worked up, you know? Yum. I mean, just look at that. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. I love meatloaf. I re love, <laughs> Who doesn't love, love, love meatloaf? meatloaf? My husband so doesn't what? like meatloaf. Well, your husband's wrong. It's and weird. you're not supposed to be able to be an American. <laughs> Because truly, a meatloaf is just a giant meatball. Yeah, and if really you don't is. like meatballs, there's something wrong with it. And he that. likes meatballs. I'm going to tell him that next time. I'm just going to say, it's just a giant meatball. It's just so a you giant have to meatball. Have it. Yeah. So what's your problem? Yeah, my mom used to do it with um, cheese and, and ham on the mm. inside. Oh, my gosh. Send me that so recipe. Good. I we will. need to bring it back. I will. It's I can bring it back. Do you know I do rolled meatloaves? Okay. The most popular one is an Italian one I do where I make a, a meatball mixture and I roll it out in a small baking sheet, and then I fill it with broccoli rod provolone and chopped ch cherry peppers. Oh, I'm there. And then I roll it up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> giggling. I know. It's so good. And, and I bake it like that, all rolled up. So that would, your mom's <gasps> would be a good yeah. one to right. spiral. I'll, I'll send you that recipe. Yeah. Promise. Awesome! Elbow bump. High five. High five. Five. <clears throat> okay, so 600 have been ordered. Most people are getting more than one. So I think maybe you're keeping one and giving yeah, it or I you're need... thinking main dish and dessert once again. Deuce, dose, yeah. please. Uno dos, here you go. Look how this lifts out. All and the all that ooby stuff. Look, yeah. look at all the junk that's yeah. left in the pan. Right. And it would be sitting And it that. gets you out of all of that mess. Mm. And look, there's nothing on either side. Right. When you put it on the cutting board or the platter and take it to the table, there's no drippings, no goop, no right. gunk. And it gets crispy all over. This bacon is crispy even on the sides. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And I'm just thinking, get two, so make two so you can have cold meatloaf sandwiches the next day. Or you can keep one and gift one. You could. Then you might need three. So here's the scoop. Well, you would need like six. I would. <laughs> because with the crisper pans, you it's brought three. You next. never gave them away. Now you got five. And I bought two more. Yeah, I When know. they got bigger. Um, 900 ordered. Please don't wait. It's our day of stars. And it's Rachel's last day with us until the fall. She's working on so much. And all <laughs> oh, my new. God, Jane. Where do you see the stuff oh we God. got caught?